The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation in Kupiansk direction. Two enemy battalion tactical groups, supported by foreign mercenaries, had been conducting offensive operations towards Nizhny Aduvanka and Svatovo of Lugansk People's Republic. The offensive has been halted by army aviation, artillery fire, and intensive action of Russian forces. Up to 100 Ukrainian personnel and mercenaries, two tanks, five armored fighting vehicles, and five pickups have been eliminated. In Krasny Liman direction, two enemy battalion tactical groups attempted to launch an offensive towards Ploshanka and Chervona Popovka of Lugansk People's Republic. All the attacks have been repelled. Comprehensive fire attack and intensive action of Russian forces have resulted in causing casualties of over 120 Ukrainian personnel killed and up to 130 wounded, three tanks, two armored fighting vehicles and five motor vehicles. In Nikolaev Kivoyrov direction, Russian units supported by artillery have repelled an offensive of a battalion tactical group of the armed forces of Ukraine near Durchani, Novaya Kaminka, Belogorka, Kherson region. The enemy has been driven back to its initial positions. Over 110 Ukrainian personnel, 11 armored fighting vehicles and 13 motor vehicles have been eliminated. Operational tactical and army aviation, missile troops and artillery have neutralized seven command posts near Ivanovka, Krahmalnoye of Kharkov region, Vodinoye, Pavlovka of the Donetsk People's Republic, Novaya Kamenka, Davidov Brod, Belogorka of Kherson region as well as 72 artillery units at their firing positions, manpower and military equipment in 186 areas. Two ordnance depots have been destroyed near Belogoria and Kushovoye in Zaporozhye region, as well as one depot of fuel for Ukrainian armed forces equipment near Galicinovo of Nikolaev region. Two raiders of Ukrainian S-300 air defense missile systems have been destroyed near Kramatorsk of Donetsk People's Republic and Volnyansk of Zaporozhye region. Moreover, one self-propelled fire unit of Ukrainian Bukem-1 air defense missile system has been destroyed near Novoselka of Donetsk People's Republic. Air defense facilities have shut down one Mi-8 helicopter of Ukrainian Air Force near Novaya Kaminka of Kherson region. In addition, six unmanned aerial vehicles have been destroyed near Berestavoye, Yegorovka, Yevgenovka and Valeryanovka of Donetsk People's Republic. Moreover, 14 projectiles of HIMARS and OLHA multiple launch rocket systems have been intercepted near Novaya Kahovka, Otrado Kamenka, Korsunka of Kherson region, Starognatovka, Grus Kolomovka of Donetsk People's Republic and Donetsk. In total, 331 airplanes and 170 helicopters, 2,458 unmanned aerial vehicles, 387 air defense missile systems, 6,421 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles. 884 fighting vehicles equipped with MRLS, 3,562 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 7,109 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. The Kyiv regime continued its provocations aimed at creating a possible technological disaster at the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant. Over the past 24 hours, artillery units of the Ukrainian armed forces have launched seven large-caliber projectiles at the industrial area of the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant. Ukrainian artillery had been conducting the shelling from the Ukrainian-controlled area of Vyshatarasovka in Dnepropetrovsk region. The hostile battery has been neutralized by Russian artillery's counter-attack. The radiation environment at the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant remains normal.